This is incredible. <laughs> it's a bucket of lard for whenever you need it. Yes, Fiesta Mart, a chain of Mexican and Hispanic supermarkets across the Southwest, stocks lard in tubs large enough for any taqueria or survivalist bunker. But that's just one of the shamelessly tasty, occasionally dangerous items they sell in absurd quantities. Walk through any of their stores and you might hear a mariachi band, pick out a piñata, eat a whole fried fish that was alive just minutes before, or get pricked by a spiky desert vegetable. The only predictable thing? It's going to be delicious. It's time to get lost in the supermarket. So right when you come into Fiesta Mart, you're confronted with something that can hurt you. These cactus paddles, or nopales, which are delicious in tacos, and you have this helpful set of tongs here with which to pick them up. But if you just walk over this way, she's shaved with this knife, all of the spikes off of the cactus. Her technique is remarkable. Do you ever end up with a spike? Not so much. See, she's a professional. This is an amazing assortment of guavas. Hmm. I don't know if it's guava season quite yet, but the guavas are still good. This is your self-serve dried chili station. When you lift this lid, like amazing dark raisiny chili aromas come out of it. It's a general theme here. Spiky ingredients that you can only pick up with tongs. Jesus. I just feel like I'm going through my old Diana Kennedy cookbooks and finally putting the faces to the names. This is Epazote, um, which is also frequently added to beans to give it a really almost like anise -y flavor. I don't actually ever know if I've seen this at a supermarket before. Oh my gosh, it smells really minty. It's a manzano pepper. It looks like an apple. Just surprisingly like sweet and mild and fruity tasting. Truth in advertising there. The lemons are sweet lemons, amarillo lemons, and the oranges are sour. You get into some really insane textures here. This just looks like a rock. <laughs> this is like a surfboard or a cooking ingredient. I guess you'd probably like strap it to the roof of your car and take it home and just like break it down, eat off of it for a few days. Many mysteries to uncover here. You'll find plenty of freshly caught Gulf seafood at the fish counter at Fiesta Mart, but I'm more excited by the stuff you don't usually see at the supermarket. Sacks of still wriggling crawfish and catfish that's still alive and trying to make a break for it. Give your fresh tilapia your fresh catfish trying to make their escape. So you can come here and buy a literal sack of crawfish. We're going from fish that's so fresh that it's alive to fish that has gone to the completely other side of its life cycle. This is so cool. Okay, this fish has been cut in half and now it kind of looks like two fish. Just like a popcorn stand at a movie theater, there's no way you can walk past Fiesta Mart's selection of crispy, crunchy pork products without stopping for a taste, and then sticking around to pick up some house-made chorizo or an oversized pork shoulder to make into carnitas at home. I can try the ground chicharrones without having them in their intact, warm, crispy form. What are the differences here? Because... Right. Okay, so this is more like a meal or a snack, snack, right? In the frying process, most of the fat renders out of it, so you're just left with the crunchiness. Mm. And a very slight chewiness, kind of addictive. It would be really hard to walk by this station every day. So this one, and I'm gonna stand by this, it's more of a meal. You see there's still some meat, hanging on to it. A little bit of fat in there too. Mm. Pretty much like biting into a piece of fried chicken, only instead of fried chicken, it's pork. Oh boy. Carnitas usually takes a pretty long time to cook. In this case, it's just right here for you. Super tender, super fatty. Mm. Okay, they even sculpt their ground meat into the shape of a pig. 
From five varieties of Central American sour cream to cheeses you'll want to crumble over beans or melt over enchiladas, Fiesta Mart's dairy section goes far beyond that pre-shredded, so-called Mexican cheese you'd find at most stores. It's an almost encyclopedic selection, only rivaled by their assortment of tortillas and tamale dough. Corn tortillas in a rainbow of colors. You might be able to find fresh corn tortillas in your supermarket, but you probably won't find tortillas enchiladas, chili-infused corn tortillas, chocolate chip tamale dough. You can have an entire meal of tamales from appetizer main course to dessert. Strawberry tamale dough. One more thing that I've never seen before, fresqui ricas tortillas. So this is a half-cooked flour tortilla, which means that you can just finish up the cooking right in your own pan. Right alongside all the food, you'll find everything else you need to live the Fiesta Mart lifestyle. From molcajetes, to exotic variations on bingo, to cowboy paraphernalia. And of course, spoons that are taller than most humans. Okay, so that giant leaf from before, I guess you put it in a pot and you stir it with this. I can only imagine how powerful I would feel like stirring a pot of beans with one of these tools. You can imagine the kind of cauldron of bubbling oil that would require that. Just loving this general theme of cooking for a whole bunch of people. So cosmetic, toiletry section, all the things you need to look good, including cowboy hats. I really want a pair of these. Like kids' cowboy boots. After all of that exploring, I've kicked up quite a thirst. Luckily, Fiesta Mart boasts a veritable rainbow of refreshments, including a full line of neon-colored cane sugar-sweetened Mexican sodas and cult varieties of super bubbly mineral water. We have the Jarritos in all of their colors and flavors. Okay, I'm gonna crack this open. Coconut juice with pulp. Mm. Gives you something to drink and something to chew at the same time. You don't need a beverage and a snack, it's just like all in one. It's almost lunchtime, and it's becoming harder and harder to resist the snacks that fill the aisles, especially since they all seem to be saltier, spicier, and way more tongue-numbing than what I'm used to. It's all just a mere appetizer before hitting up the taqueria conveniently located right in the store. So we're here at the prepared food counter at Yes Mart. Not only can you get tacos, you can get a whole fried fish here, and an amazing assortment of these agua frescas, which I will definitely get one. Is that al pastor over there? And could I get a fried fish too? It's just a little light snack with my taco. So I chose like probably the messiest taco ever. <laughs> okay, ready. Mm. Pretty much tastes like your grandmother's beef stew, but way more flavorful. Let me dig into this fish here. Skin is definitely really crispy from the frying. This is the same tilapias that were swimming around in the seafood section. Mm. Crispy, a little bit salty, spicy. Pretty much the freshest fried whole fish I've ever eaten in a supermarket. It's delicious. Yeah. We get to see that. Fresh and Um, nine. Nine. <laughs> Yes. Yanni Pani Mayo. This is really like a meeting place, people of all cultures, all looking for a good meal. And that pretty much says it all. I've had my horizons expanded, my tongue scorched, and my ego humbled by the vast selection of foods here at Fiesta Mart. It's a welcome reminder about how much I still have to learn about Central American and Tex-Mex cooking. But thanks to the genuine welcome I've received here, I won't be shy about diving right in. And if I experience any bouts of anxiety, I'll always be able to calm myself with a couple of pieces of crispy fried pork.